Hello and welcome to this demonstration about the GIS capabilities in ScienceBase. I will focus on the capabilities of uploading uh, shapefile and raster formats and also the consumption of the open source GIS formats that are created as a result of that. I will begin by going into a sample, sample item into ScienceBase and add an item. I will begin by adding a shapefile and I will navigate to my local drive to an area where I know I have a, a shapefile saved. This is a point shapefile with all the major cities in the United States. I'll click after it's done uploading, I'll click Done Uploading, and ScienceBase will try to scrape some of the metadata values out of the FGDC compliant XML file that was associated with the shapefile, so I will allow it to do that. Um, I will change the title of my item to Sample Shapefile, and then I will click Save. So ScienceBase will then save this item on a local file system to ScienceBase and also it will automatically generate a map of that shapefile and will give it a default uh, symbology of this blue color that you see here. Um, along with that, it creates this area called resources underneath the map um, where you can go in and other people can go in and download this shapefile by clicking on the individual files that make up the shapefile or clicking on this overall file which will give you all the files included in the shapefile. Um, so along with this static map of all the points in the shapefile I can also click on the interactive mapper link and this will open up uh, a basic mapper which lets you interact with your data by zooming in and out of the data so you can get a closer look at what you've uploaded and so other people can see what you've uploaded to see if that's exactly what they want to download. Um, so along with those basic functionalities you can also click on this advanced services link and this brings up two of the services that ScienceBase automatically generates for every shapefile it is uploaded. The first one is a WMS which stands for a web mapping service and this service is an open source GIS uh, format that serves pictures of the data um, that can be consumed in any kind of outside application. It can be con consumed in ArcGIS desktop or in any kind of online mapping software that can read these open source formats. Um, the second type of service that it generates is a WFS, which stands for a Web Feature Service, which actually serves the data behind the scenes. It serves all the coordinates of all these points, and then it is rendered by whatever client is reading that service, instead of having the, the GIS server render that, that data. So I will demonstrate how you can consume this WMS service. I will open uh, instance of Arc Catalog desktop. I will go into the GIS servers area and click add a WMS server. I will paste in that URL that I copied from ScienceBase and as you can see it, it finds the, the different layers that were associated with that shapefile that I uploaded. I'll click OK and then you have now made the connection and you can preview that data in your ArcGIS client software um, and you can also consume this in any other kind of online software. Um, so back into ScienceBase, if you would, if you want to consume the actual WFS, that's the Web Feature Service, you can also copy that link. And I will go back into our catalog and go into the interoperability connections area and say I want to add a connection. I will change it to WFS. I'll paste in my URL and I will pick which layers I am interested in adding. And it comes up with the two layers. I'll pick the cities layer. I'll click OK and then OK. And then after I've made my connection, I can drill down and actually view the data. So right now you can see that ArcGIS client is actually downloading all that data and it renders it on the client here instead of just getting a picture of the data. I can also load that directly into if I minimize my screen here. I can actually drag that directly into a into ArcMap 
and consume the data there too and then it, you can actually kind of treat this like a local file um, you can change the symbology on this data um, and you can also read this data directly into any kind of geoprocessing function that you want to use and this is all possible without actually downloading in the data you are dynamically reading this data from the WFS service that was created by ScienceBase. So back into ScienceBase um, that is most of the things most of the capabilities for uploading shapefiles so I will go back and show you how you can upload a raster. So currently ScienceBase supports the uh, reading of GeoTIFF raster formats. Um, any other raster format may be uploaded to ScienceBase, but only the GeoTIFF format will be actually displayed on a map, and that's the only format that GIS services w will be created for. So I'll pick a sample raster here on my local file system. ScienceBase is uploading the raster, and after it is done uploading, I'll click on the Done Uploading button. And I will leave the title as as the default here. It takes the file name as the title as a default, so that is good enough. I'll click Save, and ScienceBase saves this to its local file system, and then it will generate a map of that raster. Um, it also generates kind of this default blue symbology. It's actually a blue color ramp that it automatically generates for this raster. And I should also note that it is possible to change the symbology. Um, you have to create a custom, what's called a .sld file, and that's uh, kind of an open source uh, symbology or style format that an open GIS server can read. Um, but then, as you can see, you can use the interactive mapper with this data just as you would with a shapefile. You can also use the advanced services link to see those same services. Um, as you saw for a shapefile, you can consume this raster in the same, in the same ways that I showed you can consume a shapefile. That concludes the demonstration of how to upload shapefiles and rasters and how to consume the open source GIS services that are created as a result of that.